Here are a few examples that just look at finding the period, amplitude, and midline of a sinusoidal function, trig function, based on the just the formula that's given. So amplitude is going to come from the A value that gets multiplied out front. Let me put this on here. The midline is going to come from the K value that gets added or subtracted at the end. And the period is going to come from that B value. Um, the B value is not the period, but we have a formula that tells us period comes from 2 pi, which is the normal period for a sine or cosine graph, uh, divided by the absolute value of that B number. So for this first one, um, I don't have anything added at the end, so there's no K value, so that's going to keep my midline at Y equals 0, like the normal sine and cosine graphs have. Uh, the 6 out front is going to make my amplitude a value of 6, so it's going to get vertically stretched by a factor of 6. And then for the period, you know, I have the variable, the coefficient on t is 1, so my b value is 1. So if I use my formula where period equals 2 pi over b, the absolute value, so we stay positive, then my period becomes 2 pi over 1, and so I just say that the period is 2 pi for this problem. Okay, for the second one, we have... Um, a little bit more complicated of an equation, but it just has some more numbers in it. Uh, so we'll start with midline. And again, that comes from the number on the outside. The fact that negative 8 appears as a vertical shift down makes our midline at negative 8. So the graph's been shifted down 8 units in the vertical manner. Um, the 7 out front is going to affect our amplitude. So our amplitude is 7. It has a vertical stretch by a factor of 7. And then inside the sine function here, it's already in the form, the factored form, so that I can talk about the B value. So with my B value being positive 4, if I look at the period as 2 pi over the absolute value of B, I get that the period is 2 pi over 4, which simplifies to pi over 2, or half a pi. So my period for this problem, the time in which it takes to complete one full sine wave is pi over 2. Okay. Um, for this next example, there's a 2 on the y, so we have to address that first and divide the whole function by it. That cleans up to y equals 1 half cosine of 8 times t minus 6 plus 1. From that, we can pull that our midline is at y equals 1, so it's been vertically shifted up one unit. We can also pull that our amplitude is 1 half, so this one has a vertical compression. And then the 8, which has already been factored away from the t minus 6, so I can talk about it as my b value. If I want to report the period here, I have to do 2 pi over the 8. So that makes a pi over 4 for the period for this one. So it takes only pi over 4, which is like 45 degrees, for this cosine graph to complete one full cycle. All right, for this last one, the minus 1 is indicative of a midline at y equals negative 1. So that's been shifted uh, down vertically by one unit. The pi out front makes us have an amplitude by the value of pi. And then inside this 2t plus 4, I have to first factor it and factor the 2 out so that my variable on my t is 1. And that leaves me with 2 times t plus 2. So you see there's a, there's a horizontal shift left of 2, but that's not part of this problem. Um, for this one, we're focused on what this 2 does on the t. So if my b value is 2, then my period is 2 pi over that b value, and I get a period of pi. So amplitude is pi, the period is pi, and the midline is at y equals negative 1.